Well, I'm sitting here this morning doing something that I enjoy doing the most when I'm out and about traveling. Receipts, inputting them into the computer, keeping track of our finances and everything. It's a, it can be a little bit of a pain sometimes, but it's necessary when you're out traveling and you especially travel as much as we do, uh, knowing exactly how much money you have to spend, exactly where you can eat tonight, you know, if you want to eat at the campground, if you want to eat in town, uh, those kind of things. But um, this is our uh, last day here at uh, Badlands KOA. <clears throat> We're going over to the Badlands again this morning while it's still early and cool. Not supposed to be as hot today as it was yesterday. Yesterday it hit 100 degrees uh, over in the Badlands and the sun was just pounding down on everybody. There comes one of the little uh, carts coming around. But uh, today it's only supposed to be like in the 80s. And if you can hear the birds are out this morning, they are enjoying the cooler weather. We had a little bit of rain last night, a storm blew through. Uh, we went over to Rapid City to eat and we could see the storm coming on the way back and it followed us the whole way back. But uh, we made it back before the rain and uh, everything uh, turned out fine. But uh, looking forward to today, like I said, our last day here. Tomorrow we head out early. We're going over toward uh, Devil's Tower. Uh, there's also a, a natural bridge that we're going to be visiting tomorrow before we finally, on Saturday, head down to Torrington, Wyoming. Uh, so uh, keep watching, and uh, when I get better Wi-Fi, which I don't seem to have too good a Wi-Fi here, uh, when I get better Wi-Fi, we'll be uh, editing and posting more videos. The Notch Trail is a one-mile round trip located in the Badlands, South Dakota. Here's an adventure in rough country, a ladder to climb, narrow ledges, and a stunning view of the White River Valley beyond the cliff at the notch. It is very rough terrain beyond the ladder, and sturdy boots, along with good balance, are highly recommended. Well, there's the ladder. So I can wait for the ladder, or it looks like there's a little trail over here. I think I might try this. So yes, I did come up that steep part, but I don't know if you can go back down that. So I might have to wait for the ladder to go back down. Yeah, the trail is a little rugged to say the least. You can see how narrow the ledge is here, but I think we're okay. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> As you can see, the trail just continues to wind around. So someone just says it's pretty cool, so we shall see. And there's a sign up here. It says, keep right, dangerous cliff. So hopefully that's the notch up ahead because uh, it's pretty barren and I need a little break. The ledges were narrow and in some places you had to climb over rocks just to stay on the trail. It was also very hot with the white rocks reflecting the sun's rays. When Nancy and I hike, we try to stay quiet. That's the best way to enjoy the quietness of the outdoors and actually see some wildlife. That's hard to do on crowded trails.
After taking some pictures, catching my breath, and getting a drink, it was time to head back. I'm glad I went early in the day as I did not want to be on the trail when the crowds really picked up. I had to wait once I got to the top of the ladder, though, to climb down because it was so crowded. I was hot and ready to head back to our cool cabin and maybe take a quick swim to cool off. We have more adventures to come. Please share and comment on our videos. Thanks for watching and please hit that subscribe button. Thanks.